Passing 70 kilometers per hour right about. This should be it. Hey! Oh my god! Hello everybody, Grace Do Blaze, and we're back with more My Summer Seagull. Let me tell you boys something. One of the reasons I love you guys is because we can have a legitimate conversation through the medium that is YouTube. Last time I mentioned that someone said I laugh like a seagull, which I'm totally okay with because seagulls are actually pretty cool. And then, when I mentioned that, I mentioned I am, in fact, yes, a seagull. Sorry, there will be no face reveal ever because seagulls are not allowed to show themselves. No, okay, listen, I'm not actually a seagull. I will, in fact, reveal my face. I hopefully, hopefully no one took that at face value. Realistically, though, oh, it is a beautiful day outside with a little bit of stormy weather I hear in the distance. Someone had said, and this was absolutely brilliant, if you're a seagull, how are you able to talk? I love the fact that me being a seagull, playing video games, the talking part is what blew their mind. Not the fact that I'm fucking around in my summer car, but the fact that I can talk. Oh, yes. How can I talk, you ask? Well, it's because I went to seagull school. Yes, all seagulls can talk. It's just for the most part, none of us really do. We're a quiet people. So, one of the things we're gonna have to do is try and jump over the friggin' house. I still haven't managed to do this. We're gonna need to come in a direction where I can have the most amount of space. I think this way is going to do it for the most part. I really don't know what distance I wanna use for this thing either. Oh, you son of a bitch. Do as I tell you to. There we go. I think right about there, maybe we'll do it. I'm not 100% sure. This area though, like this little straight over here has what I believe to be the best possible like increase in speed. Oh, there's another thing too. One of you boys said out on the island, our little cool ass island with the cabin, there's a camera out there? Is that legit? We're gonna have to check that out. Hopefully you're not lying to me. You better not be lying to me. I don't test this stuff out before I start playing. I just freaking press play on the game and hopefully ever and hope everything goes okay. Go ahead and grab the Jonas over here. After pissing, I should be much, much lighter than before. Alright, now I think that the fuel tap resets like every time. Wow! First kick, baby! How often does that crap happen? I'll tell you how often. Never. We gotta put our car back together again as well at some point. Alright, let me go. Man. Feels a little slick. Not sure why. A little slicker than normal. Let's go head down this way. We're gonna want maximum breakneck speed for this. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. This should get us the appropriate level of death-defying speed that we're gonna need. All right, here we go. Now I don't want to. I don't want to dump it. All right, now I gotta see where the where the frick the house is too. Way over there. All right, here we go, boys. Wish me luck. I probably should have went into first gear, but whatever. We do whatever we want over here. And right about now, Funk Soul Brother. Yep. All right. Third gear. All right. Fourth gear. Oh, God, have it. All right. Nope. Didn't quite make it. Either we weren't going fast enough. Hold on. Let me go ahead and turn this poor vehicle off. You poor moped. Oh, I'm going to be kicking the living crap out of you. I think we need a little bit more, a more oomph. I think we need some more space over here. Maybe if I kind of bring it. Well, you know what? Hold on here. I think we need more of a, like a thing like that. And then maybe like right about here should do it. That looks, eh, hold on. Let me go ahead and line this up a little bit better. All right, baby. I got some speed coming up in here now. Passing 70 kilometers per hour right about. This should be it. Hey, oh my God. Holy shit! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Stop. Everything needs to stop. Okay, not only did we jump on top of the house, we jumped over the house, landed on top of the freaking tanker, slid off the tanker, and stuck the landing. Well, kind of. We kind of landed on our side. But holy Jesus, that is freaking. Okay, hold on a second. I need to see, I need to see something. I need to see if we could do this again, but this time I need to turn, hold on. Move this a little bit further back. Oh, come on clouds, rain, rain, go away. I don't have time for your crap, man. I'm trying to jump houses over here. I wanna see 
if I can get the GTA style camera, the cinematic camera going on when we do this. Oh man, yep, the friggin' rains are coming. This sucks. I want a nice sunny day for me to do this. This makes me realize something too. The fact that we can get this much air, you guys were saying jump the train. I think we are gonna be able to jump over the train. Oh, it's gonna be friggin' amazing. All right. So I want a good amount of speed here. When I go into my turn. All right, looking good. Oh crap. Oh, I am not lined up at all. Oh wait, maybe I kinda am. Oh shit. Oh god. Whoa god. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, how did I not die? How did I not die? How in the name of God did I not die? I have no idea how we didn't die, but whatever. 80th time's the charm. Yes! Yeah! Oh you can Oh! 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 We're on the top! We're on the top! Yes! I can't change the freaking camera! Alright, hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on, bitch. You son of a bitch. You start back up. Okay, good. B really? You gonna stall straight out on me? Alright. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. Alright, now let's kind of just pedal our way over here real slow. We'll pedal. Kind of idle our way over here real slow. There we go. Yes! Good! Good! Alright, now there's the shot I wanted. Now, we can go head over to that island. The only problem is I don't remember if our boat is on this side or on the other side. Um, hold on here. I wonder if I can... Hold on. Yeah, why not? Gray's an idiot. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna try and land it on top of the friggin' tanker. It's a pretty friggin' successful day so far, I think. Alright, let's head on down to the water's edge and see if the boat is down there, because I don't remember. It might actually be over at the store. If it is, we're gonna have to pile into the tanker and head over there. If it is here... Ah, it is over at the store. Okay. So, this is fine, though, because, you know what? We could probably uh, throw our, uh, our moped inside of the boat, and maybe we'll be able to take it over to the island, eh? And then at some point, I do want to jump over the train. It may not happen in this episode, it depends. Depends on how much time we have. Go ahead and throw all this crap inside of the tanker. Make sure we have plenty of sausage and beer and get on our way. All right, our bike is inside of the tanker. We've got to bring this seat very specifically. Go ahead and throw that seat over there. Get oh, God! What the hell just happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Things are glitching out a little bit. No big deal. Oh, God. Oh, I think the seat opened up on its own accord. All right, we've got some, Jesus. All right, yeah, um, the door is starting to prop open. Oh, bike, why do you have to stand up randomly in the middle of nowhere? I know why, it's because we get too close to it and the game thinks that we want to mount the bike. Come here, stop that, stop. Go right here, no, stop glitching through the wall. Okay, good, yes, stay right there. Don't move, don't move. I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you unexpectedly. Okay, good. Now, we're a little bit hungry. Let me go over here. We're gonna go ahead and grab a, a nice sausage because why not? Oh, you know what? We have a carton of milk over here. You boys know what milk is good for. Hold on. Let me go ahead and grab this real fast. Get a little bit of our thirst down. And ho! There we go, baby. Way downtown with that one. All right, pilot to the tanker, boys. We're heading over to the store to see our buddy, uh, Timon. Many times have we made this trek together, you and I, inside of the tanker, just lustfully traveling down the dirt roads of Finland. I don't know if lustfully is the right word. Every once in a while I get stuck for words, so I just kind of make something up. That's what the seagulls do. Um, so, uh, face reveal stuff wise, just because I know every once in a while people ask about it. Actually, the people still ask about it. What's cool is, a lot of people are answering, like they're answering the comments from stuff that I've seen before. I really love you guys for that. I really appreciate it too. Uh, yes. I should be doing that at the 1st of, J um, June. That we're still on for that date. Save the date, boys. That's what I have in mind. Um, and I always, always try and keep my dates. So, I'm pretty reliable. I don't know if you guys know. You may call, some people may think I'm a, a dumbass or a jerk. But if you notice, man, I'm here every day making these videos. Every single day with no days off. So I'm pretty, I, I think I, I like to think that you can count on old Gray at the very least to make you feel like you're a lot smarter. 
when you watch him. Hold on here. Uh, yep, we're set. We're good. You see that? That was the uh, that was the gray way of looking both ways. That's where like as you're crossing the path of death, you may, you give that quick precursory glance where you're like, you know, if I died right now, I'd have to close down the game and reboot everything so everyone didn't think I was a jackass. It's been a long time since we've been out to the boat. Actually, I think the last time we were out to the boat was somewhere uh, right around when they released the cabin update. Oh, speaking of which, I will say, the developer is good for about one update a month. So we're into May now, couple days start to pass by. We got our last update, what was it, like April 17th or something like that? So I'm holding out, I'm hoping for a brand new update middle of May. And you know what, if you remember, with that new car, uh, we had, oh shit, uh, you know what, screw you. There, get out of the way. That new car uh, was one of the things that the uh, developer wanted to put in for us. So maybe we'll get to see that, a new drivable vehicle. That means something else to run into the train um, and try and jump and, and leap and bound and do everything else with. You guys are always wanting me to complete the 24 hour, uh, oh my god. Oh, I just freaking clipped the shit out of that guy. You guys are always wanting me to complete the 24 hour time on shop challenge. Eventually I think we'll do that as well, just to say that we did it. It'd be cool if there was an achievement for it, but I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't think that there would be. Um, but I do want to, we have everything that we need to be there though. We've got, we've got the tanker here that to sleep in. We've got plenty of money for sausage and beer. And we have a really good way of making more money because we have the perfect kill you, uh, recipe if you remember. And the kill you is worth just an awesome amount of money. I think, was, I think we were getting 140 marks for each jug of kill you. And we're able to produce a lot. I, I don't remember exactly how many we can produce, but it's a freaking ton of it with the uh, materials that we buy at the shop. So I think that the conversion of money spent on the uh, on the materials from time ons and the amount of money that we make off the kill you is very, very worth it. Speaking of which, something I'm curious about, every once in a while we get into these police chases where we end up running over some police. I wonder what happens if you run over a policeman in the, uh, in the moped. Do you die? Because... On the moped, you seem to be very, very uh, robust, I guess I'll call it. You live a lot longer than I think you would. Because I've run into freaking, that I've run into my house multiple times going like almost maximum speed trying to jump over the house. And I was totally fine. Now, every once in a while, I would randomly die. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why suddenly... I would, I would, I would meet my end. There really doesn't seem to be a reason for it. It would just kind of happen. Look at this. Driving this thing 110 kilometers per hour. 100 and, yeah, about 110 kilometers per hour. You do not want to go, in, unless, unless you have experience driving this thing. I've been getting more tweets about people that have been crashing and dying and all kinds of stuff. If you don't have any experience driving this thing, don't start off like that because the rear end will swing around on you unless you put down the rear uh, lift axle. That will give you a lot more traction in this thing, but I have, I mean, it's weird to say, as bad a driver as I am, I have, I have driven this thing for so long and so many times that I'm actually not terrible at it. And I know that you can teleport through street signs without them taking your ball sack out. Taking you down to Chinatown, buddy! Huh! That was not enough. So now I have to listen to the friggin' thump thump music. Now, ah, whatever. I've listened to it before, I'll listen to it again. Hopefully he goes speeding off into the distance. Come here, you beautiful freaking bicycle of power. I need you. I need you for a moment to bring me down to the docks. Where hopefully, oh god, he's pushing my freaking, you gotta be kidding me. Freaking bastards pushing my stuff. All right, let's go ahead and pull this over here. Now, I don't remember if we have any food or drink. Oh god, oh. Oh, our vehicle is getting very, very close to me. Hold on, let me get past all this here. Don't you run my ass over while I'm on my little moped, you scumbag. All right, down here by the water's edge. Yep, look at this. Our boat is still there. Excellent. And I can see the island from here. Now, the question is... Hold on. The question is, can I put the moped on this and have it come with us? Hold on. All right, it's in the boat. It is in the boat. Now, if I remember correctly, you can run out of gas now in this thing. So hopefully we still have plenty. Come on, baby. Uh. 
Come on. Uh! Get there! Get there! Come on, you son of a bitch! Uh! Yes! Okay, good. Gear select on. Go ahead and push the front end out. I said push the front end out! There we go. Go ahead and put my pushing arms away. We gotta jump inside. Jump inside. Just gotta jump inside. Oh, this is turning out to be a freaking disaster. God damn it! Alright, there we go. I think we got it now. There we go. Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, we're inside. Enter the Oh shit. Okay, enter the driving mode. No, enter the driving mode. Enter the driving mode. Enter the driving mode. Yes. Good. And we are Ooh, kind of hard to drive with a moped in it. Okay, it's really hard to drive with a moped in it. What the hell? Yes. I've got it. Look at this beautiful mast we have. Hold on. There it is. There it is, boys. My summer moped going out to the island. Now, I will say, the moped, I think, definitely has a lot of weight to it. I feel like we're going way, way slower than we normally would. Oh, this is a really cool picture, actually. That's pretty cool. It looks like the moped is driving the boat. How random is that? I seem to believe that I would have brought some sausage and beer out to this house. I really hope so. Otherwise, we're going to be starving out there. It would be good if you could drink the lake water. I don't know if the lake water is really that uh, potable, but you would think it would be. Oh, this cabin. The cabin was such a good addition to the game. We haven't been out in it enough. It's so relaxing. Usually this game is fantastic at driving my blood pressure up and, make, and making me want to just like throw my head through a window. But in this cabin, I feel at ease. I feel so serene. Everything is so calming and cool. So it's kind of nice to be back here. Plus, remember, we have a sauna over here that we can use. We have the wood sauna, which is really neat. I'm actually kind of kind of happy to go ahead and use that while we're here if we get a little bit dirty. Now I didn't bring the I didn't bring the jump seat. So I I totally forgot about that. Maybe I'll go back over. Maybe I'll boat back over after I get over here, and we'll go ahead and pick that up. Alright. Let me see how well I can pilot this thing over. Now, we're pulling pretty hard to the right right now because of all the weight from the moped. Hold on. Hold on. Right about... All right. I came in a little hot, but we did, we did all right. We did okay. All right. There it is, baby. That's what you always want to see. A moped on a friggin' little tiny ass boat. Welcome to Casa de Grey. Where's the sun at? Is the sun rising? Sun going down? It's hard to tell from here. Should be pretty early in the morning, I would think. I think it was like 7 o'clock when we left the house on a beautiful Thursday. Over here inside of this place, let's see how things are looking. Is everything just as we had left it? Over here in the sauna area. Yep, we still have our little sauna area. We have the area for the wood right over there. I think it ignites on its own. I think someone said you can, yep, you can finish headbutt right through the wall to get yourself some wood. No big deal. Anything underneath the bench over here? Anything cool? You know, nothing under there. Man, maybe I didn't leave anything here. Here's our little kitchenette area. Boys, remember that. Oh, shit! Look! We do have a camera! Yes! Oh, my God, it's real! So, hold on. Hold on, let me, let me check this out real quick. So, if we go over here, and we... Oh, that's the zoom function. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, the zoom function is like surprisingly good. Oh, how do you, uh, so how do you, how do you take a picture with it? Oh, I think I just took a picture. I think, hold on. Oh, yeah. All right, man. I think we're taking pictures. Look at that. It's a Kizu. A Kizu camera with the flash in there, have you? All right, man. Sweet. Was this always here? I sure enough don't remember. Isn't that something? I think you can sleep here as well, can't you? Yep, you sure can. All right, so first things first. We're gonna have to grab, you know, I don't think that there's enough space on this island to do a jump. Um, we got a little space coming that way. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and drop the moped off over here, and then I'll see if I can bring over some very, very uh, important necessities so that we can hide out on this island a little bit. Oh shit, the moped's freaking going into the water almost. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know if this moped will freaking exist underwater. That seems like a really, really bad idea to try. That's crazy. I just realized there's a freaking climb onto boat function. 
I don't even know if that was there before. That's friggin' amazing. Um, that's gonna make- that's- oh shit, I just punched at- at nothing. You never wanna punch at nothing! It's very, very fatiguing to a Finnish man to punch at the nothingness. I wanna go ahead and push this, though, so that the front end is out into the water for sure. There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, good. So now can we put our hands away, and now can we climb up into the boat? Yep, sure can. Look at this. He just kind of like levitated to the boat, but that's good enough. A little boat levitation never hurt anyone. Oh yeah, I think we're moving way faster now. We're losing the light big time. We're gonna be able to get back to the store. Luckily we have a place to sleep over there, at least in the meantime. And we can start putting together a nice little goodie bag to bring back over to the, to the uh, cabin. What I like also is how close the island is to the shop over here. This was literally like a two minute drive. This was great. Hold on, let me go see if I can swing this around. Yeah, right around there. That's good enough. No big deal. All right, go ahead and shut that off. Oh, you know what? The pub might be open by the time we get back, boys. I haven't been to the pub in a while either. Holy crap. And our thirst, our thirst meter is telling us that it is time for some delicious Kavala beer. And Kavala beer we shall have. Time on! Time on! Keep a beer cold for me, my man. I'm so parched. Is the, is the pub open yet? Oh, the pub's not open yet. Oh, man. All right, I guess I can ha have just a regular beer over here. No one is drinking that. Just throw it away, you little... You really? There you go. I threw it away for you, you piece of garbage. Hold on here. Friggin' scumbag. What is that piss you're drinking? Like drinking from a WC bowl? You should drink Kurjala beer. Kurjala? What is this? This is... Oh, this is Naval. What is this? Navala? Navala? I don't know. It's something like that. Hold on here. Someone said if you piss on this guy, he says something weird. Or maybe that was time on. Hold on here. Let me go give this a shot. Drink it. Well, it pissed him off. If anything. Hold on. Well, I still got a stream going. Let me see if I can get inside. Maybe I can get inside to time on. Time on. I got something for you. I got something for you. Hold on. I got a little bit of stream left. It's good for you. It's good for you. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it, Taiban. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. Just let me go ahead and buy something. Oh, he does let me buy it. Okay, good. I was afraid I would be able to buy it. I'm going to go ahead and eat that real fast. All right. And that music means that is time, boys. It is time. Hold on. This is new. Look at this. These guys flip flopping around doing ragdolls and stuff. This guy's face right here is brand new for sure. Hey, look at that. Golden brown Nival Nivalencalia together with horrible day after ramifications. Look at this dude. This dude looks legit. Look at that friggin' look at that friggin' mustache, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can I pick this up? Their table's flip-flopping all over the place. Mine's not moving anywhere. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, go ahead and give me. Oh, you know what? Go ahead and give me a vodka. Right over there. Yo, you're not committing a crime. I'm well over 16 years of age. And also give me a sausage with fries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we're going to be eating like kings, boys. Eating like kings. Are we allowed to do anything with these guys? I wonder. Okay, this guy's arm. What in the Christ is going on with his arm? Oh, this guy's like double jointed or something. I don't know if he's trying to scratch his ass or if he's doing something out of the freaking poltergeist. All right, let's go ahead and grab our fries over here. There we go. Now, that right there is the dinner of champions. A nice, oh yeah. Nice vodka. Go ahead and throw the glass like we just don't care. A nice thing over here of uh, sausage and fries. And now that we're absolutely wasted, it's time to get into a fight. Let's see over here. All right, you scumbags. You think, uh, you think, boom. You think you can deal? You think you can deal? Actually, I, I think they're dealing pretty good. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that my fists of power are having any effect on them. Can I touch you guys like I can touch the police? That sounds really bad. How about if I jump on top of you? Nope, still nothing. How about if I urinate all over you? Does no one care? 
Does no one care about my heinous actions of sadness? Apparently not. Go ahead and get go ahead and get me another vodka, damn it. Look at you, kid. You're a bottomless pit. I sure am. Get me that vodka. I can still see straight. My thirst is going through the roof over here. Probably vodka is not the best thing to take the thirst down. Actually, it's probably terrible to take the thirst down. Let's go ahead and grab a quick uh, coffee as well while we're doing it. Because uh, I gotta keep myself awake, you know, after shooting all that friggin' vodka. There we go. A nice pub coffee. And then what the hell? We'll wash it down. Oh, I can barely grab it. Wash it down with a nice beer before our thirst kills us. You just stop drinking now that you are still able to stand. I don't think you know what you're talking about, good sir. I've got plenty of liver left. Let's see here. Let's go grab another vodka. No big deal. There we go. Now we're starting. To, now this is pretty legit. Now it looks like we belong inside here. We're just sitting at the... If I can even call this a bar. It's just like a sad little counter. Oh, starting to get a little whip wobbly. There seems to be no point with your drinking. There is no point with my drinking, good sir, other than to drink more beer and more vodka. I probably shouldn't be doubling up on them like this. There we go. Why don't you go ahead and catch real quick there, right in the schnoz. There we go. All right, boys. I think it's about time. Oh, God. I think it's about time that we go ahead and stumble over here to our vehicle. Get a nice night's sleep. Boys, we managed to get some pretty slick moped tricks done. Plus, we've got ourselves set up on our island with our new camera. How do you like that, BS? Hope you boys enjoyed this episode of My Summer Cards. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>